Okay, so uh, the spirits really want to talk about status today. Um, they're talking a lot about status. And if we, if we think of a situation where, say, a person has been abused or sexually abused, not only do they have the pain and the horror of that and their own intense feelings about that, but they also have, sort of, sort of in the social realm, if you like, that's that low status stigma because in a sense for for a person an adult to treat them in a way like a resource like a resource like a dishcloth or a, something to be picked up and dropped that is that is treating someone um as you know as a resource like that as, as something that's very, very low status. So that's an internalization that they will have of having this worthless, very low status. Equally, you know, for example, being abandoned, um, it may have not been the intention of the, the person to obviously cause this low status reaction, as well as all the horrific feelings the person will have of abandonment. It may not be the intention of that person, but it's like the result is is to be feeling of a very low worth and therefore incredibly low status. You know, you know, if one was to compare oneself to other people in society, it's like, ah, that's the abandoned person. That person has internalized an incredibly low, as well as the self-worth feelings the incredibly low status and low low and high status is something that you know our dna has battled for you know for centuries from millennia really you know we only have to go to the jungle to see where our dna coming from and all out as monkeys you know we we see that those monkeys will fight for that status tooth and nail to the death for that status because of course status doesn't just mean you know feeling nice or whatever feeling superior or feeling good actually it can mean survival you know because if you've got the high if you've got this high status you'll probably be fed first people won't forget about you you'll be significant so this having low status in the social realm that we internalize as well in a sense gives us this a worthlessness status as well within the with his which is a very difficult thing to shift you know it, it's a very it's a very difficult thing to shift until we until we deal with the wound internally that's been done to us you know the abandonment that feeling of worthlessness and we, and we find our worth again we build our worth we see our worth we create our own worth we build our own worth and of course, if a dominant reality comes into a country, you know, an empire versus versus the natives, you know, uh, the, these empire empire building and and destroying the natural cultures that were there, you've got this dominant reality coming in with what they're uh, deciding to be the superior reality, and therefore the in uh, the superior status as well. This is what they're bringing in. This is why this is so damaging, um, and so the 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 native people, uh, and then and then almost because their civil rights are taken away and their rights are taken away, and their life is taken away. In a sense, it's like they're also what's what's happened to them is that they've been given of massively all of a sudden, given a massively low status. You know, they were jogging along quite happily with their traditions and their culture. Then the dominant reality has come in. We are the superior status beings. And you, therefore, are the very low. And we will make that happen. We will take everything from you. You know, we will bind you. We will enslave you. We will take from you. Um, so this status thing they really want to talk about um, because it's a survival thing as well. You know, if 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 you set yourself up 
a lot of the wolves will set themselves up, of course, to have very, very high status, you know, um, because they have that pack mentality. They have that knowledge that, you know, um, I'm safer, you know, I'm better off life will go better and to a certain extent obviously that's true you know the, the the higher status people you know do have an easier life you know financially they're probably better off people give to them people serve them you know perhaps more fearful of them perhaps they've fought and manipulated their way to the higher status um, but they particularly want to talk about the status is that uh, that's all the outside stuff, if you like, the tonal, the social stuff that's, that's, that comes from the social world. When we look at our wounds, please see the video on healing the wounds. Um, when we look at our wounds and we deal with them, we, we then lose this sense of inferiority, this inferior status thing as well. It just dissolves into because it's it's a manufactured thing it's very much like you know the adverts nowadays you know and all the all the way along the line through millennia the adverts of selling things have always been about you know um being better than the little guy look at us and look at them and look at us and look at them look at us this kind of sense of comparison being used all the time being manipulated we're being we get manipulated like that to have to be the ones who have the higher status because obviously that usually that feels better that feels better we're not down there with those people down there we're up here you know so we get sold this social advert really um, and so but of course this is a human manifestation it's a human creation this status because as human beings we are fundamentally all equal full stop we are all equal. And that social fabric that has been manifested and force fed on top of um, human life, you know, all these social norms and social rights and wrongs and ups and downs, you're up, you're down, you're up, you know, all of this, you've got money, you haven't got money. All of these are manifestations, all of these are creations by the social, social world, really, to create the hierarchy. To create the haves and the haves not have nots really but once we go back to our our wound and looking at where our self-worth really truly comes from the root of that and where it where we've lost it places where we've lost it this is where we reclaim it we reclaim our own status we reclaim that incredible breadth and depth of status that is our energy body first energy before human we are energy before being a human. And so we reclaim the status that we are. In a, in a sense, the, the word status kind of dissolves because it's a human concept. You know, as, as human beings, whatever the color of our skin, you know, we are all absolutely equal. You know, we all have the same energy you, you know there are different types of energies it's true but we all have this we all have these similar energies as humans we are all equal you know so this setting up of this hierarchy that's gone on for millennia so that those people benefit and those people don't benefit basically you know is 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 just strategy of survival you know haves haves nots you know get more get less you know and but but of course it still plays out hugely it's still playing out you know it's still playing out between black people and white people it is you know um you look at the catholic church and sexual abuse they are at least paying reparation but there has been absolutely no reparation for the slave trade which in excess of 27 countries were all involved in. You know, you've got Scotland and Wales and England and the Dutch and the Portuguese and all of these countries, all, even Africa, tribes in Africa benefiting from um, 
benefiting from the money, all, all, you know, all sort of society benefiting from the, the goods and the money coming and trickling down from this. And it's a wrong that's never been righted in terms of status because, um, because there's no reparation. Um, the Catholic Church, uh, the horrors, yes, but they found a starting point it's not about the money, no. It's about the recognition of awareness that in the social world, because money is deemed to be, because money is deemed to be kind of like the starting point of making amends, if you like, in the social world. The righting of a wrong, it's been ex accepted. So that's the starting point. The problem is this wound is still being created with African-Americans all the time because there's no reparation being started. No reparation being recognized as the right way to start. That's the starting point. Doesn't exist, not happening. A couple of countries have talked about it, the Labour government talked about putting it, but they're not in power. You know, um, it's not happening. It's not happening. You know, there really should be a universal consciousness to write, to start and to write this wrong, you know, from all of the countries involved in this, in this horror, in this evil. It is a, it is a true evil that was perpetrated. Obviously, there are lots of evils that have been perpetrated, but it's, it's, it is an evil that, that we haven't found a starting point to acknowledge the wrong. If there's no reparation, there's no true true acknowledgement that this is wrong. Therefore, that's a slightly open door. You know, it's kind of like, I hate to say it, but it is like the white people still saying, let's leave the door open a little bit because actually we are better, which obviously is totally incorrect. We are all absolutely equal, equal. And it's a status thing, and that's why they want to talk about status, because having that door open just a crack by there being no reparation is, is acknowledging, is hiding from the wrong, which means you're not really agreeing that it's fully wrong. It's like, mm, just hide from that, mm, just hide from that. And of course, African Americans know this, you know, we all know this in our DNA. We all know the right has not been, the wrong, the right has not been, the wrong has not been righted, if you like. We all know that that's, it has not been tackled. Therefore, it's not that the wound is still festering, it's that the wound is still being made. It is still being made. It's a very subtle one. It's very subtle, but there's still a very subtle manipulation of status going on there, which is wrong. And because there's no reparation, that door is just slightly ajar. The door, reparation will close that door and say, no, it was absolutely wrong, full stop. Not in a, oh, I'm sorry, an apologetic way. Oh, I'm really sorry about that. Not, not enough. No. It has to be socially recognised with reparation. That's the closing of that wound and the, the stopping of the continuation of the wound. No reparation is a gap. It's an absence of dealing with it, you know, like, like at least the Catholic Church are doing reparation. You know, at least they're starting. They're starting from the point of absolute wrong. Took them long enough, yes, to get there, but um, absolute wrong. And that's the right perspective. Anything less is a reduction in status of the other people. A reduction in status because it's a slightly open door, we're leaving it slightly ajar, we're not really dealing with it. 
and that they want to talk about that because this status. So we've got this, you know, people will say and live in different countries, you know, the lighter the skin, the better you're doing, you know, which is pretty horrific, really, that we've still got this sense of, you know, uh, this perception sense, this, this skewed perception, you know, of people's skin color, you know, and it, it, it is affecting, it is affecting so much and people's, people's ability to do well, you know, this consciousness. And it's because in a sense, the world really has not got together with this, really. The world has really not got together with it. And it's, it's never too late, it's time, you know, it has to be done now, got together, say this is an absolute wrong, an absolute wrong, a horrific absolute wrong, you know, aside from all the feeling elements of it and the moral horror of it all, socially, almost status-wise, it was an absolute wrong because there is no differentiation between different statuses of, of people. People have People are people. People in truth are energy. They do, there is no such thing as this difference in status, if you like. It's a, it's a manufactured thing and it is still continuing to be manufactured because it's not being dealt with. Yes, it is a natural, it is of course, it's a natural animalistic behavior, if you like, which we've seen in the, in the jungle, you know, that, that there's this pecking order you know, there's this fight for status, but we can have a different mindset to this. We can, we can begin to see we are all equal energy. Full stop, we are all equal energy. That's not there, we are not there, you know. It would be so wonderful to be thinking in those terms, but you know, we're thinking more in animalistic terms, you know me 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 and and the way the way for me to get my status up is to push someone's status down because it's not true really because there's no such thing as status really because we are all energy so the human comes up with and the animal state of us comes up with the the pushing one down to elevate ourselves up that's the feeling system that's used because there, there is no other there's no truth really in it so this is the this is the manufactured way that the brain if you like comes up with it's like this oh well we'll come up with this pecking order thing then push you down so therefore in order for someone to be you know it's that seesaw thing in order for someone to go up others have to go down and this is what this is something that we are perpetuating, perpetuating, perpetuating. But then going back to our to our individual self, um, we can we can completely change the fabric and the landscape of this. And we can once we understand that we're energy first before human, we can paint ourselves, if you like. We can look at where those wounds happened to us, where we felt those horrific abandonment or abuse and that sense of the feeling that came with it that we had, which was about our worthlessness. Because those who have those feelings may be the ones who grab the status to cancel out the pain of, it's similar to the addiction thing, to cancel out the addiction videos that I've done, please see them, um, in order to cancel out the pain of abandonment and devaluing, the brain grabs and reaches for very high status things. And the only way to do that is to knock someone else down. So it's like, I feel shit, I'll knock that person down and then I go up and that person and it's like a domino effect you know and that person may continue in that way you know because it's it's the creation of these opposite feelings that the brain thinks it's helping us with 
we won't deal with the wound no no we won't deal with that we'll just create contrasting feelings so that I'm not the one who's feeling worthless even though I was abandoned yes but I'm not going to be the one to feel worthless I'm going to be the one who feels high status all the time wow that's lovely lovely something's not quite right no because you've got a big wound festering there in truth and you'll have to keep on grabbing high status things you know in order to to keep that pain well enough hidden really from yourself you know so once we sort these pains out and these problems out that we have we no longer need our status if you like if you call it that word just floods us our value floods our energy comes back to us we don't need to be grabbing for things that make us feel of high status yeah